Right, look at me. Look. Covered in mud. I just the mist is creeping up behind me. I'm in a, a field now. I've just crossed a very large field. I'm just praying and hoping the cows aren't here. Um, the cow pack, like that for example, looks about a week old with grass growing through, but there are some fresher ones. And because uh, it's so misty, I can't risk going across this particular field in case they're further down the field, the cows. But my theory is, or feeling, is that they've actually taken them out. I haven't seen any dark shapes yet, I haven't heard any mooing. Um, but it's very difficult and I'm trying to find the way out. There's a stile somewhere in the corner of this field, but I can't remember where it is. Um, I got muddled up a minute ago. I thought I was in another field that I go in. I think I better keep over here a bit and follow these tracks. I've been wand I wandered off then. I need to keep near that wall in case I need to do a rapid escape. <sighs> My trousers are falling down as well because I've got three layers on. I've got um, a, like thermal underwear bottoms on. I've got my jeans, and then I've got my waterproof trousers, which are tugging on my jeans. <sighs> now, I, from experience in the past, I know that the cows are usually scattered everywhere in this field. Plus, they sometimes gather up here if they put um, hay out. So it's a bit of a worry, because they sometimes cows do well gather in a corner quite often they gather in corners they gather along walls <sighs> that is the way across the field but I'm going to I mean it's going to be just as dangerous for me walking up the lane in a way I'm going to have to be very careful now I can see the hayrick I can see the signpost for the um, style now as well and I can hear the dustbin cart now there's the, the, now there's the water See, if you look at that, that pack there, that is very moist looking. I mean, see, they could still have a small herd out. But my feeling is that they've all been taken out. Um, so, but I've got other problems. I've still got fields, which are going to be extremely dangerous, where I was actually chased once. I didn't expect the mist to be here. Anyway, I've got to, um, I'm going to go on the road for a while and get some of the mud off my shoes. <sighs> but I'm a bit worried about the next fields I come across because there's, there's two there where cows are usually housed. <sighs> right, so we've got to this stile. And I reckon the cows have all been taken out. I reckon they've been taken out now. Right, over and out for a minute, everyone. Right, third or fourth video. I've walked along the track for a while to give my feet boots a break, get some of the big mud off. Well, I'm actually plastered with mud, but these are my waterproof trousers. Uh, I've got another one of these jackets. This can be just wiped down. Um, it looked to me like it would have been all right coming across there, but I'm glad I did the track at the moment. I've got more muddy fields to come, mind you. Because look at that. That'd be a quagmire down through there. Sorry if you've got wellies on. Nice old stone style there. But the bit I'm worried about now is coming up in a minute. After I get round this bend and up the lane a little bit, I come to a, another style. And I'll be entering the territory where about four year, four or five years ago I was chased by a herd of cows and I only managed to just get over a barbed wire fence. Um, now these cows shouldn't be in here. I know there is sometimes a herd they leave in, but they're usually right over near the farm where the hay is put out for them. 
there's just this really one massive field. It's really big in length. Um, I usually walk across it, and when I can see, I normally walk across the top of it when I know the cows aren't there. But because to, I can't really tell today, I mean, it's, it's a risk, I've got to hug the wall so that if necessary, I can scramble over the wall again. Now, fortunately, uh, this wall, not yet, in a minute, they've built in some sort of escape routes, I call them, where there's six foot stretches with no barbed wire. They have the wall, but they, they don't have the barbed wire, so it's for us to get over if we have to, I think. Um, see, this wall here got no barbed wire, look. Um, but it's still going to throw yourself up against it, put it that way, if you had to. Of course, I've got to be alert walking up this misty lane. But one big white van came along a minute ago. He was driving slowly. Anyway, so my, like I say, my worry now is this next field. Uh, the, the fields following that don't usually have cows in them. Uh, by this time of year, the cows that are around the, the um, isolated cottage have usually been, are usually gone. Um, yeah, usually by now all the cows are out of the fields, usually, but there are hardy cows. For example, when I get to Draycott's Lights, they sometimes have these Angus looking cows. Big hairy, furry things that, from Scotland. But I noticed in the spring last year they had a herd of black cows. Now, they can be a bit weird, but I managed to get past them. They were right up high out the way. Um, then I'll be going past later on after that um, something called Middleton Nature Reserve or something I'll be going through and that's where the ponies uh, reside and I don't normally have any trouble with them and that's and then a straight route back because I know there are no cows down that way that's then a straight route back to um, Cheddar Gorge well, I won't actually go near the gorge. I'll be taking the lower route. I've been expecting to get absolutely plastered with mud from, from now on. Um, I might have to climb up the slights because the lower path will be a total quagmire. You know, I'm talking about a foot deep in mud. So I will have to do a bit more climbing, I'm afraid. <sighs> Anyway, not long ago in town, Western, hanging on a little branch was a crisp £10 note. This is true, this was in town. There could have been more, but I see it just hanging in the wind. And I went out and bought a Bowie calendar with it, that £10. I thought, thank you, Bowie. Wild as the wind, and he threw me a tenner so I could get his calendar. Now, look at that. Look how creepy it is down there, look. Isn't that creepy? Very spooky. The spirits are pretty and the barrows are watching me. Hopefully they're guarding me. But look at that field. I'm glad I never walked through that, but I'm going through another one. Now, if I sink out in there, I would do a diversion and go straight into that field. Um, well, I'm going to see if there's any sign. There have been cows in here. Uh, there's also fresh tractor marks, which is sometimes when they're leading them out. Um, so I'm going to take a risk now. This is the field I was chased in at least four years ago. Could be five years now. It was from the other end, though. It was just after I got over the stile and I'd walked in the field a bit. I was keeping near the wall, thank goodness, and I managed to get over. So here we go, folks. This is Sheila on the 17th of December 2019. Election week, with the Tories getting in. <laughs> 